Okay, so I've just done a quick stick and ink with sepia ink of my new little montage. It must be the afternoon. I'm ready for some champagne and bubbles or anything alcoholic actually. So I quite like that. That's quick. It, that took me about 10 minutes and what I'm going to do, that's just on a normal cartridge paper. So if you look at these books, you know they're cheap. Anyone can get them. You can get them from the newsagent. You can get them from um, any any shop really, uh, the two dollars shop even. So that's quite a nice little book. That's a nice size. You can take it on your walk. Sit down and do your stick and ink. Stick and ink's perfect for just taking a little bit of ink, a little bit of ink, water bottle, a little brush. Find a stick where you go, where you where you're walking on your own, and then or just come and set up a little montage like what I've done here of the alcohol now so that's the that's the crappy paper so now i've got some better paper here so that as you as you progress for those of you who've done it all before you might like to use better paper now the difference in the better paper is that it's actually a watercolor actually i can't remember what this is it could be watercolor oil but it will sit better and fall better everything's better with a better quality so i'm just gonna create some stick and ink line and when you're doing it you're looking at all the different reasons to put a mark now it doesn't matter if you do a mistake because when you if you just fix it then it's a lot more interesting that's I've said that a hundred times anyway when with this glass you don't have to make it even you don't have to make the the bottle exactly even and what I usually do is I just take it right through Ignore the fact that there's a, a glass here. Now, where the glass comes to in relationship to the bottle. All right, so there's the, there's the label. You can't see it yet, but I'm going to take a photo of it for you. There's the label, and the actual glass comes up above that. So we'll just put that in there. Put the glass in. It's actually a silver goblet. It's a bit flashier. And I'll just, that gives you an idea, and it's a bit deeper than that. So see, it doesn't matter if I do a mistake. Okay. So just take it down, down a bit further. That's better. And then the gin bottle. It's been, people have been getting into that gin lately, I tell you. David. Anyway, so I'm going to, if you, when you look at the picture that I'm going to forward to you, it's about there, but mm, it's actually not. I've done it in the wrong spot. So about there. See how I'm just using the edge of the stick and the point? So I'm going to move that. It doesn't matter if you do a mistake. Okay. So then that goes around here like that. These are so simple. This is the simplest thing. It's even easier than a car. Even easier than anything. Don't try and get it perfect because perfect is so boring. And I'm going to take that down there. It's a bit hard. I've got a machine in front of my face so that you can see everything. And I think the gin bottle comes to about there. It doesn't matter because we can fix it. And what I quite liked about the gin bottle is that the label has got another shape altogether. Another reason, oh, no, that's not right, down there. Another reason to put a line. Yeah, that's wrong, but that doesn't matter. So we keep fiddling here. I'm going to move that back a bit. And what I'm going to do is while I'm going to do a, you know, I love that, a little bit of a flick. So while I've got some wet ink, I'll add some more wet ink, um, I'll just put some ink here. And then with a little brush, and see it doesn't have to be a good brush, just a crappy brush. I've got a little bit of water here and I'm just going to move it. Oh, look. Just going to move that ink before it dries. I'm going to move that down there like that. 
Now, for those of you who are advanced, can go to all the detail about the reflections and all that sort of stuff, but we'll just talk about the people who haven't done this before because we want everyone to be happy. So now I've just got some colour off my brush and I'm just going to touch it. Now, this because this is waterproofing, see how it's not moving? It's not totally waterproof, but it won't move as much. Right, so in which case, you can keep fiddling just putting those washers it is moving a bit so it's not as perfect as waterproof but it is still letting you see the lovely lines underneath so I'll just touch I've got a little touchy board and uh, look at that now see how I've done that bottle look right through there just another line so that's great I'm just gonna Make that a bit dark in there. And so look at that. So that's for the, this is for the people who have not done this before. And this is called stick and ink with water. It's very technical. You may not be able to cope. So why don't you have a play with that? And then what we'll do is we'll just keep adding bits to it and, and producing. As you play with your crappy paper, you see this one, this paper is so absorbent that it actually went through really quickly. So I couldn't actually touch the ink with water. It was already dry. So that's why this better paper, it stays on the surface. Now you can come in, wait for that to dry, or I can come in and I might be able to get some more lines in. And look at that, how luscious that is. Now because it's costing you nothing, we're saving a fortune now on have, not having coffees, and not going to restaurants, you can afford to play. You can afford to play with the materials, you can afford to play, order some nice paper when you get into it, really into it online and but don't forget you're not going to have um that was a bit higher than oh, yeah a lot higher um you're not going to have um it's going to dry a bit darker this a uh, lighter i should say i'm going to do another flick because i love it boom 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 love it love it love it and then so this will dry a bit lighter and so as it evolves and as you get more confident you can add now, it's best to go light to dark. If you go too dark, it doesn't matter. All we'll do is we will put some white Conti, white oil stick, white paint, anything, and we fix it. There's no such thing as a mistake. And, um, yeah, we just fix it, paint over it. So isn't that fun? The bottle looks crap because I did this wrong. See, I did this bit too high, low down. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to colour that in, put the little nozzle at the top here, boom, 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 around like that, there we go, again a lot more interesting, all those little divots, little divots, a reason to actually do a line Make it dark, make it light, put a shadow. All right, look how easy that is. And that's on just on standard paper, nothing too special. All that is, stick and ink and a little bit of water on a brush.